Hello, my quirky friends and lovers of interior design with a twist. Today, we'll explore the connection between the industrial style interiors, the zodiac sign of Aries, and ENTJ personality type, according to the Myers Briggs type indicator. At the end of the video, I'll mention a film featuring the industrial style concept. So, first things first. What is industrial interior design? Inspired by repurposed factories from the Industrial Revolution, the industrial interior design style is quite simply a factory or warehouse-inspired look. It tends to expose architectural elements that are usually concealed, like brick walls or ceiling beams or ductwork. Industrial decor celebrates practicality and doesn't shy away from the imperfect and signs of wear and tear. It looks unfinished, yet cohesive and unique. It can range from the rugged warehouse style, which looks raw and edgy, to a cozier, softer aesthetic with the addition of textiles and splashes of color. History and Origins Industrial style has its roots in the Industrial Revolution and the development of giant factories that could hold large machines and many workers. While old factories and warehouses had existed for almost 250 years in the West, they were abandoned when manufacturing went abroad, mostly to the Far East. The industrial style became really popular in the 2000s, when New York and other urban areas faced housing shortages. Factories were converted into industrial loft apartments. Later on, this style has moved out of the urban setting into the large, suburban homes with open plans and large windows. Inspirations and basic design principles Unfinished or stripped-down look Inspired by the old factories and warehouses, trademarks of this style are strong building materials such as concrete, steel and brick that were left plain, unfinished and exposed. Also the visible ductwork or ducts and industrial pipes. Many of these elements were for safety reasons. For example, the plaster traditionally covering brick walls was a fire hazard, leading to this exposed brick style. Simplicity and functionality The concept of the industrial style is simplicity and melting of function and form. The very no-nonsense look of the industrial style is utilitarian and bare. If you want to achieve this look, pick clean-lined furniture with simple designs and avoid anything that will disrupt the simplicity. Apply different shades of concrete on the wall, a simple sink and open shelves. Only the basics and no frills. However, bare does not mean your house should be devoid of comforting chairs, rugs or even exciting decor. Open layout. The stripped down industrial style typically has open floor plans, high ceilings and lofted floors. An open layout helps to emphasize this warehouse feel in the house. Thus, designers often suggest using screens or furniture pieces like wardrobes to separate different areas in your home. The right lighting To truly capture the essence of an industrial style interior, pick the kind of lighting that goes with the raw factory feel. For example, Edison light bulbs hanging solo or in a decorative group as a chandelier. If you prefer something less bare, large metal domes, a pendant light or floor lamps that leave the bulb visible are also popular industrial design ideas. Cage lighting is another popular industrial lighting trend. This type of lighting wraps metal bars around the light bulb to form a cage around it. Embrace natural light. Industrial decor typically features large grid paint windows to let in the fresh air and lots of natural light. Use of repurposed or rustic wood and metal. Industrial interiors are all about using repurposed wood and metal for your home. These repurposed elements can be a good base for a DIY project, such as metal lamps, pipe bookshelves or even artwork made from machine parts. 
Some ideas include coffee table with wheels, uh, where a rolling factory table can be used in your living room as a coffee table. Then there are tables made from pallets. They can be made at home and are one of the best surfaces or worktops that can be achieved in little time with minimum investment. Design them according to your space needs and express your taste to the world. Colors and tones. Industrial design is all about cool and neutral colors. Gray, as the color of concrete and steel, is probably the one color you will find most often. Beyond gray, you can also find white, black, brown and beige. Black ceilings are a bold design choice that works very well in industrial space. Metallic colors. You will rarely find bold and bright colors in industrial space. To add contrast and create accents, consider using a metallic color like silver, gold and copper. Textures, shapes and patterns. Graphic lines. Whether it's a window pane or an iron wheel on bar stools, this style loves clean graphic lines, mainly created with black metals. Black grid frame windows. If you can, try to get large black frames for your windows, which form a grid. These are reminiscent of factory spaces and warehouse windows, and they also let in a ton of light. Hairpin legs. They will provide an industrial chic and a vintage retro rustic feel to your home. If there is one type of industrial furniture you need in your home, it's the industrial draftsman chair. They are typically used by architects and artists when they work on an artistic or engineering project. Materials and fabrics Wood Rustic, raw or repurposed wood helps to warm up these spaces, which often quite appear quite cold and uninviting. Details made of rustic wood can go a long way in making the space feel comfortable and welcoming. Metal Copper cookware Copper pots and pans will help you create that warm feel and also give a charming vintage vibe to your industrial kitchen. Exposed metal pipes, ducts, tubes, steel beams and wires are all commonly found in industrial style interiors. To get that factory vibe, it's important to show the raw bones of the space you're working with. Then there are stainless steel, black or silver metal mirrors, which are a great option for your industrial bathroom. And then the large metal dome lamps and pendant lights that help illuminate industrial spaces and give off that industrial vibe. Concrete. Concrete countertop sinks, bathroom vanities, floors, walls and other design elements made of concrete are standard in industrial homes. Concrete is typically dark grey and works nicely with different metals and woods. These elements are very heavy, so you'll probably need help installing one, but they do give off a great industrial look. Brick Since industrial design is often found in lofts and warehouses that are placed in brick buildings, it makes sense that we would want to see the bones of these homes. Leaving at least one red brick wall will bring out a room's history and celebrate its past. Leather Distressed or weathered leather is key to adding some warmth to an otherwise cold metal industrial space. I often see lots of distressed brown leather sofas in industrial living rooms. Natural textiles Create coziness with natural textiles. Fabrics like linen work well in these environments for both furniture and accents, creating a lived-in and cozy feel. Star sign Aries, March 21st to April 19th as the pioneering first sign of the zodiac, you can expect Aries to incorporate a bold streak when it comes to their design preferences. Generally, Aries will prefer to keep things minimalistic and clutter-free. 
a chic black and white base with a statement wall of fire engine red, crimson or hot pink will appeal to their fire sign nature. The industrial style works perfectly for Aries, who favors textures such as brushed metal, steel and exposed concrete. Aries love stripped-down spaces, sleek designs and functional furniture. Nonetheless, Aries is one of the most passionate signs of the zodiac, so a need for mood lighting is a must. Aries is a sign that will appreciate a dimmer switch. MBTI Personality Type ENTJ Commander an industrial-style home is an excellent option for the practical, straightforward ways of an ENTJ. Though you'd be hesitant at the thought of a style that can often look unfinished, you'll see that there is a focus on furniture and accessories that are functional and efficient. These aspects are far more important than being flashy and decorative. You radiate a no-nonsense vibe, something an industrial style also does incredibly well. Tips for decorating Industrial interior design is often associated with lofts, apartments and city dwellings. However, you can take elements of this interior style and make it work in just about any type of home. It's possible to mix industrial style with many different decorative tastes. You don't have to go full-on industrial to get elements of this style in your home. Pick one of the following suggestions. Number 1. Go for an open floor plan. Number 2. Expose brickwork. Number 3. Embrace exposed ceiling beams. Number 4. Show off your ductwork. Use pipes as artwork. Number 5. Opt for concrete and stone. Make the most of concrete walls. Number 6. Invest in steel frame windows if you don't have them already. Number 7. Soften the look with wood and distressed leather. Number 8. Use contrasting materials. Keep it neutral, but say yes to black. And number nine, dare to go bold with lighting. Film The Loft The Loft is a 2014 erotic thriller film directed by Eric Van Looy. I was surprised to discover that it is a remake of a 2008 Belgian film, which was remade in the Netherlands in 2010. So this is a second remake. The plot begins with five married men who share ownership of an upmarket loft. They use it for discreetly meeting their respective mistresses. And when the body of a murdered woman is found in that loft, the men begin to suspect each other of having committed this gruesome crime, as they are the only ones with keys to the premises. The film has earned quite bad reviews, but before you decide that it's not worth the watch, take a look at interiors. I'm sure I'm not the only one here who watches films for their unique interior designs. So in this movie, I just love the wall-free layout, where even the bed is in the open, the high ceilings, the oversized windows, and industrial touches like concrete floors and metal partitions, and the fact that the building itself looks to be a former office high-rise. Thank you so much for watching, and if you found value in this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. You might even hit the notification bell because I'll be doing a whole series of this type of video. See you next time. Bye!